Hi everybody, so today we're going to discuss some option contracts and basically look at uh, some volume, open interest, and bid and ask spreads, as well as the days till expiration and kind of study them to see what makes the most sense uh, for buying uh, option contracts. And we're going to look at about a thousand to basically uh, three thousand different contracts. So I graphed them um, and then wanted to look at uh, basically what's going on. So these are the uh, you know United States' uh, largest largest open interest contracts. So basically you can see that everything above twenty thousand contracts. So, um, so if we were to draw some lines here, you can kind of see that basically the center of all this would actually be off off screen here, right? So it's kind of a little bit lopsided, but you can kind of see there that the center is somewhere in here probably, right? Um, but, and you'd have to even move this down a little bit to even say. So, um, so basically you can see that this is the volume here um, and then the open interest on this graph here contracts and we're going to look at about a thousand to basically uh, three thousand different contracts so I graphed them um, and then wanted to look at uh, basically what's going on so these are the uh, you know United States' uh, largest largest open interest contracts so basically you can see that everything above 20,000 contracts so um, so if we were to draw some lines here, you can kind of see that basically the center of all this would actually be off off screen here, right? So it's kind of a little bit lopsided, but you can kind of see there that the center is somewhere in here probably, right? Um, but, and you'd have to even move this down a little bit to even say. So, um, so basically you can see that this is the volume here um, and then the open interest on this graph here options open interest versus days till expiration um, so what I found interesting here let me just draw some lines so there's kind of like a curve here right you can see this curve kind of goes like this right and it may actually be swayed like it could be swayed slightly this way or slightly that way but we're gonna say in general it's swayed like this right so you can see that around 75 days that's kind of the peak um, for most of the open interest and that's a good sign right so I'm gonna put this line right about here um, and you can see that you have these other lines let me put let me get this off here and you can see in green so you have one week here right and then you have basically two weeks right around in here right so that's two weeks and then you got these other lines three weeks so on and more um, so basically you could say 50 days 75 days something like around in here is where you actually have a peak and this may actually even be up more we don't know exactly right but that's what it kind of hints at um, in terms of contracts and open interest and then the spread between how much a contract is the price that is asking and the bid price so if you take the subtraction of these two that's basically what this graph becomes so let me draw in some lines here so you can kind of see so it appears that there's actually two different uh, kind of waves here right so you can see that obviously this would go up and maybe even taper out um, so you can kind of see maybe like this it could be it actually is a little bit right so then this might even go down but we're talking about 10 cents spread so as you get towards a contract at the last day you're getting towards 10 cents spreads um, and then you get up to a dollar and more um, as you get further out um, because there's not as much uh, it just it's just harder to tell what the, the ask and the bid price is but the other thing I would tell you is that there is a lower line here and you can see there's maybe another line here underneath this 
we'll just put that one in yellow or green, right? So this one actually could be, oops, let's delete that. So you can kind of see that this might actually be more accurate and you could say that the maximum spread is around a dollar. So if you put it in here, you can say, all right, 10 cents, 20 cents, these, these are way uh, out of bounds. So this is kind of more of the average here that we're looking at. So we can put those through here. You can see that maybe that is more accurate. So this shows 10 cent spread is pretty good and safe um, throughout all the contract ranges. Um, and you can see that um, there is some, uh, it's kind of hard to tell. So you can, let me see if I can get a better graph at the volume, not the uh, uh, number of open uh, interest, but the actual volume, and then the ask minus bid spread. So basically with this, you can see that the spread is kind of looking like the opposite curve, right? So you got this curve where it kind of goes like, oops, I'm sorry about that. This one curves in and then out and then kind of goes yeah, that's a bad line, but you kind of get the gist here that there's a couple different points. So if we draw that on a more green line through the center of this, we have a point. Let me just delete this line here. So you can see through the center of this, we have a lot of line that goes like this, right? And that maybe tells us a little bit more. So now we can start seeing it. You have a volume of about 100. And then the contract oil range is maybe more in this range. So you can see here, if we change this to a yellow area, you kind of see that actually the spread is more in this range, five cents. So <clears throat> on the actual on the actual trades, so you can see that you want to get something around five cents spread, um, which is pretty good in general to go for. And another really interesting one to take a look at here before we get uh, kind of finalize everything here is this option price versus percent change. So you can see the positive change, negative change, you can't go down more than a negative 100%. Uh, but uh, in general, if the option price is about, you know, $1, you can see that it's basically skewed a little bit more on the top of the side here, right? So it's above a dollar, it's actually you get some more percent change but it's kind of in the middle, so it's hard to say. Um, so let me just put this right in here so you can see. So basically right in there, it's kind of like the center of this. And you can see slightly I moved it up just a tiny bit. So showing that there's just a tiny bit positive in that area. So it's actually just slightly above a dollar, maybe a dollar ten, maybe even two dollars. So um, but those contracts right around there are probably the midpoints. A couple more things um, where you can take a look at. Um, I looked at both a thousand, a couple different days here. So you have a thousand contracts here, three thousand contracts here, and my data sources here, and then the graphs. And I'll put this link in the page so you can kind of see how the graphs were made and some different things. You can kind of make up some of your own judgment calls on some of these things. But anyway, I hope it was really fun and interesting to take a look at some of these graphs and enjoy uh, basically taking a look at what you might want to do for some option contracts in terms of open interest, volume, day of expiration, and a lot of other factors. Have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions. I always like talking with people about different ideas.